The telescope immediately became a tourist attraction despite scientists' concerns. In April 2019, FAST passed preliminary acceptance and opened to Chinese domestic astronomers. In January 2020, it passed the national acceptance and officially opened for operation. Scientific observation time using FAST will be increased to about 5,000 hours in 2021. It is estimated that time allocated to foreign scientists will account for about 10% of the total. According to Zhu Ming, researcher at the NOW and the director of the Science and Data Department of the FAST Operation and Development Center. The observation and data collection using FAST will be free, although scientists will need to pay for services such as preliminary data processing, copying and disk delivery. Most observation data will be available to the public after one year, according to Zoo. According to the FAST Data Center Service Standard, 2021, the regular storage and archiving service of FAST data is free of charge and fully funded by the Chinese government. Over the past 30 years, China's highways have developed very dramatically, as by the end of 2020, their total length reached 160,000 kilometers, and it had become a gigantic network like no other. Looking at the developments, changes, and achievements along the highways is undoubtedly an excellent window to observe China. Whoever looks at China's highways can tell how determined and strong China is in defying the odds and challenging the rugged natural terrain. Since the reform and opening up, especially since 2012, highway construction in China has made great leaps of development, and by the end of 2020, these roads covered nearly 100% of cities with a population of more than 200,000 people. The Beijing-Xinjiang Expressway, which cuts nearly half of China and runs through the vast Gobi Desert, shortens the road distance from Beijing to Urumqi by more than 1,300 kilometers. And the yaan Xichang Expressway in Sichuan Province is half of it with slopes, making natural ditches become highways. The ningbo Zhoshan Expressway in Zhejiang Province consists of many bridges extending into the sea, and it is the lifeblood of the Zhoshan Archipelago. With the opening of roads in the mountains and the construction of bridges in the seas and rivers, China has established a highway network extending from east to west and from north to south.